Hey, it's Michael V. Moore, aka Mr. Travel Fitness, and I'm going to talk to you about day number two. So today is day number two of my attempt to meet my diet bet goal of pretty much getting down to 200 pounds. Um, so I started um, a concert for. So if this is like your first video of seeing what I'm doing, basically I decided to create a contest called September to Remember. And the whole point of contest was four weeks, myself and other um, Travel Fit Club members, we all gathered, we all bet on ourselves to lose a certain amount of weight. So everyone had to lose 4% of their body weight. My weight was around 210, 209, 210, 208, something like that. But basically for me, my 4% was for me to get down to 201 pounds. And every time you weigh yourself officially using the Diabet um, application, you basically have to have your workout clothes on and you get on the scale. So everything is pretty legit and they make sure that they validate and verify that you are doing what you're supposed to do. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact it uses a scale to determine whether or not you met your weight goal, so to speak. And so that's what these videos are about. So I've, I've actually been losing fat, but I've been gaining muscle at the same time. And so when that happens, you don't lose scale weight. And so this is my attempt to prove that, hey, I can lose water weight. So I highly recommend you see day number one, where I kind of go a little bit more in detail about what I'm doing. But from now on, each day, I'm just going to kind of give you a recap of, of how the day went. So for day number two, um, on day number one, um, I start off at 207 and a half. And so after day number one, I was 205. Okay, so after completing day number two, my weight was 202 and a half. So I seem to be losing pretty much two and a half pounds of what I consider water weight each day, which is pretty good. So if my goal is to get down to 200 pounds and I only been doing this for two days, I'm already at 202 and a half. That shows you that I'm, I'm losing water at the proper rate. Um, so as far as like the highlights of yesterday, yesterday was another or excuse me, I'm saying yesterday because it's actually day. I'm on the morning of day number three right now. So I'm kind of recapping day number two. So for day number two, the highlight was I was actually doing a weightlifting workout and um, using 10 to 12 reps and doing squats. Um, Why wow, was I doing squats? Some type of dumbbell bench presses. I was doing lunges, um, pull-ups different types of versions of setups, twists, leg raises, all these crazy crazy exercises that pretty much you typically do in a bodybuilding routine. And so this was the first workout I've actually did it where I completely had less than 100 grams, not even 100 grams, I had less than like 70 grams of carbohydrates in my system from the day before. And for a person like me, I normally emphasize carbohydrates when I'm doing lots of working outs, lots of workouts, excuse me. And when you take that away, your body is trying to figure out how to get that energy source. So to help me get through the workouts, I am taking a, a little bit of a supplement. I'm not a big, huge, huge supplement person, but I believe in taking them for the right, right situations. And so since I'm reducing my sodium content and I'm reducing the cardio, carbohydrates, um, I am taking a, a BCA, um, branch chain amino acid um, type formula just to help me get through the workout. So I don't have to take no extra carbs or anything like that. It's just enough to kind of help give me some, some, a little bit of an energy boost and make sure that my muscles don't break down on me during and after um, my workout. So that's what I utilized to help get me through the workout. And a big difference between the first day and the second day is on the first day, I was drinking two gallons of water. And on day number two, I reduced that to only a gallon. And so it's amazing that once you drink so much water, your body kind of wants to like drink more and more and more. So I found my, my mouth like feeling a little drier than normal because I guess I had so much water the night before or excuse me, the day before. And then my body just released all that water. It wanted more and more and more. And this is where the water manipulation comes into play, which is why I did what I did, which is increase your body with so much water. So your body think that's normal. And then you kind of reduce your water intake a little bit. And that's going to help reduce my water weight, so to speak. So I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Um, the, I got through the workout. Surprisingly, I, I had more energy than I, I was expecting to have. 
Um, the one, the biggest problem I did notice is my sleeping. Um, my, I'm suffering from not being able to sleep the entire night. I kind of wake up. It's a combination of having to go to the bathroom, especially that first night. Um, I had to go to the bathroom a lot. But with day number two, um, it was just a matter of being sore. And when you have carbo, when you have a normal amount of carbohydrates in your body, it normally helps you with the sleep process. But when you take that away. Your body doesn't know what to do. So my body's still a little confused about what's going on. And my sleep is getting interrupted a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do on um, tonight, which is day number three, so I might actually take a, a supplement to help me sleep a little bit. So I'll let you know how that goes. Additionally, um, normally I would probably take like a mineral, some type of mineral supplement that will help you sleep through the night. Um, but I don't have, I don't have my, my typical mineral supplement in my house right now. So again, I'm not a big supplement person. I use supplements at certain times of the year if or depending on what my nutrition is and everything. It's just a supplement. It is not my diet. It is, again, just a supplement. It supplements my normal meal plan and health plan. Okay. So everything is going well. Um, I just got done with my workouts. I'll share that well, with day number three's highlight. And so as I record this, this is the morning right now. I just got done taking my shower. That's why I always got my curly hair, my little grizzly looking beard. But yeah, everything's going going good. Um, not nothing too hard. Not my muscles aren't like crying or anything like that. So it's it's all good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at how quickly I got my water weight down. Um, yeah. So that's day number two. So I'll see you around for day number three. Mr. Travel Fitness, out.